Written in 1997, Rich Dad Poor Dad remains an all-time classic in personal finance literature. But how well do you remember its timeless lessons? Join us in this video as we revisit the key money lessons from the book that many people have actually forgotten about. Discover the essential principles of money management, investing, accounting, and budgeting that continue to shape financial success today. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an upload. Thank you. 1. The rich have money work for them. In the book, Kiyosaki emphasizes that the wealthy focus on making their money work for them rather than working for money. This means they invest in income-generating assets like real estate, stocks, or businesses that can generate passive income streams. They understand the power of compounding and leverage to grow their wealth over time. How can you make your money work for you too? 1. Investing in income-generating assets Wealthy individuals prioritize investing in assets that have the potential to generate income. These assets can include rental properties, dividend-paying stocks, bonds, or owning a portion of a profitable business. The income generated from these investments can supplement or even surpass their earned income from a job. 2. Passive Income Streams Passive income is money earned with minimal effort or active involvement. The wealthy aim to build multiple passive income streams so that they're not solely reliant on their job. This provides financial security and flexibility as they have money coming in even when they're not actively working. 3. Understanding the power of compounding The concept of compounding is a crucial element in wealth building. It involves reinvesting earnings to generate more earnings over time. This means that the longer you let your money grow and compound, the more significant your wealth becomes. The wealthy understand this principle and use it to their advantage. 4. Leveraging other people's time and money The rich often leverage resources beyond their own time and capital. They may use other people's expertise, labor, or funds to grow their investments or businesses. This leverage can amplify their returns and accelerate wealth accumulation. 5. Taking calculated risks While they focus on making money work for them, the wealthy are not afraid to take calculated risks. They understand that all investments come with some level of risk, but they carefully evaluate opportunities to ensure that the potential rewards outweigh the risks. 2. It's not how much money you make, it's how much you keep. This an essential financial principle that emphasizes the importance of managing your money wisely and understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. Let's break it down further. 1. It's not how much money you make, it's how much you keep. This statement underscores the idea that accumulating wealth isn't solely determined by the size of your income, but by how effectively you manage and save the money you earn. High income is beneficial, but it's what you do with that income that ultimately matters. 2. Understanding accounting and cash flow Financial literacy is crucial for wealth building. Understanding basic accounting principles and having control over your cash flow are essential skills. Tracking your income, expenses and investments allows you to make informed financial decisions. 3. Understanding the difference between assets and liabilities this is a central concept in Kiyosaki's teachings. It's essential to distinguish between assets and liabilities. Assets. These are items or investments that put money in your pocket. They can include income-generating businesses, rental properties, stocks, bonds, or intellectual property that generates royalties. The goal is to acquire and grow assets over time. Liabilities. Liabilities are items or expenses that take money out of your pocket. Examples include mortgage payments, car loans, credit card debt, and student loans. Reducing or eliminating liabilities is critical for financial stability and growth. 3. Focus on your... This lesson encourages individuals to prioritize building and growing their assets over solely focusing on increasing their earned income. While earning a high income is important, it's what you do with that income that matters most. Your asset column represents your wealth-building assets, such as investments, businesses, and income-generating properties. By concentrating on growing this column, you work toward long-term financial security and independence. Yee. 
have your own business revolve around the asset column. Kiyosaki suggests that starting and owning a business should be geared toward building and acquiring assets. Instead of creating a business that primarily generates earned income, consider businesses that can generate passive income or appreciate in value over time. This approach aligns your entrepreneurial efforts with wealth creation. 3. The Pitfalls of Chasing More Income The idea that more money brings more problems underscores the notion that simply chasing higher income without proper financial management can lead to financial stress and problems. It's not about earning more, it's about managing what you have effectively. This includes understanding how to budget, invest and control expenses. IV. Learn Cash Management Effective cash management is a critical skill for financial success. It involves understanding where your money is going, creating budgets and making wise financial decisions. By learning how to manage your cash flow, you can ensure that you're building wealth rather than allowing money to slip away through unnecessary expenses. Rich people buy luxuries last, only the poor buy luxuries to look rich. Acquire assets that you love. If you don't love it, you won't take care of it. 4. The rich are not taxed. In the words of Robert Kiyosaki, A corporation is merely a file folder with some legal documents in it, sitting in some attorney's office and registered with a state government agency. The above addresses the idea that the wealthy use corporations as a means to minimize their tax liability. Let's delve into this concept and its implications. 1. The rich are not taxed. This statement suggests that the wealthy, by utilizing certain financial strategies and structures, can reduce their overall tax burden. While everyone is subject to taxation, those with greater financial knowledge and resources often employ legal methods to minimize their tax liabilities. Yai, creation of corporations to limit tax risk. Corporations can serve as a powerful tool for wealth preservation and tax reduction. By creating and operating businesses through corporations, individuals can separate personal assets from business assets and take advantage of tax benefits and deductions that are often available to businesses. This separation can help limit personal liability and tax exposure. 3. Understanding the nature of a corporation Kiyosaki's description of a corporation as a file folder with some legal documents highlights the simplicity of its structure. However, despite its simplicity and form, corporations can be complex in terms of their legal and financial implications. It's essential to have a solid understanding of corporate finance, accounting and legal regulations when utilizing this strategy. IV Financial IQ and Utilizing Corporations to effectively use corporations for tax and asset protection purposes, individuals need to develop their financial intelligence or financial IQ. This includes understanding accounting principles, investment strategies, market dynamics and tax laws. With a strong financial IQ, individuals can make informed decisions about when and how to use corporations in their financial planning. 5. It's not the smart who get ahead, but the broad. This statement underscores the idea that it's not just intelligence, but a broad set of skills and attributes, including financial literacy, creativity, adaptability, and a willingness to take action that lead to success. A well-rounded approach to personal development is key. Let's explore this further. I, overcoming self-doubt and harnessing the mind. Self-doubt can be a significant barrier to success. The human mind is a powerful tool and when trained and utilized effectively, it can lead to remarkable achievements, including generating wealth. Building confidence and self-belief is an essential part of this journey. Nyai, having guts and taking calculated risks. Taking risks is an inherent part of entrepreneurship and investing. Instead of avoiding risks, the lesson encourages individuals to learn how to manage them effectively. This involves conducting thorough research, making informed decisions, and understanding that risks are part of the path to success. Skills of successful investors. Successful investors possess three key skills. Finding opportunities. Identifying investment opportunities that others may have overlooked or undervalued can lead to significant financial gains. Raising money. 
The ability to secure capital or funding for investments is critical. This can involve attracting investors or using creative financing methods. Organizing smart people. Building and leading a team of knowledgeable and skilled individuals is vital for successful investing. Smart people can provide valuable insights and expertise. Choosing advisors. Wisely, seeking advice from experienced and trusted advisors is essential. These advisors can provide guidance on financial decisions, investments and strategies. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an upload. Thank you. 6. And NBSP Work to Learn. Don't work for money. This lesson encourages individuals to prioritize learning and skill acquisition over immediate financial gain. Instead of viewing a job solely as a means to earn money, consider it as an opportunity to gain valuable knowledge, experience and skills. I. Seeking a job for what you will learn. When choosing a job or career path, it's advisable to consider not only the salary, but also the educational and growth opportunities it offers. Look for positions that provide you with the chance to develop new skills, broaden your knowledge and advance your career. Why skills development for your profession? Depending on your chosen profession, there are specific skills that can greatly enhance your value and potential for growth. For instance, a young writer can benefit from acquiring skills such as advertising, copywriting, sales and public relations, as these skills can complement and expand their writing capabilities. 3. Embracing Lifelong Learning The lesson highlights the importance of continuous learning throughout your career. The business and job landscape is constantly evolving, and those who adapt and acquire new skills are often better positioned for long-term success. IV Building a Versatile Skill Set Diversifying your skill set can make you more adaptable and valuable in various roles and industries. This can open up new career opportunities and increase your earning potential over time. Some people are one skill away from great wealth. Remember to work on your management skills, management of cash flow, systems and people. Also, work on your communication skills and sales and marketing. 7. Choose Heroes Selecting heroes or role models can be a powerful source of inspiration and motivation. These individuals are often admired not only for their achievements, but also for the way they make complex tasks or challenges appear effortless. I. Heroes make things look easy. Heroes serve as exemplars, demonstrating that what may seem difficult or unattainable can be accomplished with dedication, effort, and the right approach. They provide a tangible reference point for success. By learning through imitation, Imitating or emulating heroes is a valuable learning strategy. By observing how successful people operate, you can gain insights into their methods, habits, and mindset. This can help you apply similar principles to your own life and endeavors. Freyfi Childhood Imitation and Adult Inspiration The lesson highlights how children often instinctively imitate their heroes when engaging in activities. As adults, we may lose touch with this natural learning process, but it's a strategy that can continue to benefit us throughout life. IVE following role models, like Warren Buffett. The example of following Warren Buffett's investment strategies and seeking his insights on the market is a practical application of this lesson. By studying the approaches of successful investors like Buffett, you can gain valuable knowledge and potentially replicate their success in your own investments. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss an upload. Thank you. Please click the video you see on your screen now. They're carefully selected for you. Catch you on the next one.